next uh, segment about, about a guy named Buddy Brown who wants freedom. Freedom from America. Freedom. You know Buddy Brown, AJ? I know Buddy Brown. I've heard of Buddy, Br- Buddy Brown. So he's a singer-songwriter, right, from uh, Mississippi? Yeah, he's a YouTube star. YouTube star. What does he primarily sing about? Most of the time about freedom and how <laughs> our rights are being infringed and how not to be sh- get shot by police. and. Uh, yeah, so we have um, typical boilerplate Republican stances on re- refugees, crime, yeah. ghettos, Second Amendment, yada, yada, yada. You the, know, all the... All the fair. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so... Uh, all the red points from red state red-blooded americans is red-blooded that americans yeah. that, that's the real america oh. like sarah palin said it's a real america <laughs> yeah, the cities the, the urban areas that's not real america that's something else so uh so we have two clips of buddies from uh, two of buddy's songs uh, and we'll play those and then we'll comment on them all right on the other side here's the first one all right. the second amendment actually reads a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The very first part, a well-regulated militia. About 23 states right now have SDFs, okay? That's what we call state defense forces. And all states under the Second Amendment have a right to have a militia. So why the hell would you condemn a well-organized militia? It's legal, it's American. You notice he's he changed regulated to organized, right? Yeah. So so what he's advocating for is a regulated militia, right? So th- he's right. 23 states do have those. But they're regulated and they're authorized by the state and federal government. And they're controlled by the governors of those states. Now, that kind of militia is not the type of militia we see in the streets, like in Michigan or these other hot spots. Those are just private citizens, you know, in costumes with their guns and their tactical gear. That's not what the Constitution is talking about. And that's not what this uh, state defense force is. They're actually um, military personnel. And what he's talking about is two different things. Actually, he's making the case for Second Amendment, actually, there. <laughs> I mean, in, since 1939, it was exactly this is how it was, you know, interpreted mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, it changed after 2008. I mean, that's how, that's when people started believing that you have a right to own any type of weapon Hell at any time. Yeah. Mm. Uh, famous uh, Antonin Scalia's uh, uh, case. So God rest his soul. Yeah. I mean, he's. I mean, he's making the case, but he's failing to understand where that comes from. I know. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Uh, irony. Yeah. So yeah, and that and so this is uh, I thought it was interesting that uh, he was just conflating the two things. It's not the same. You know, it's not, not very two different things. But you could be very careful that sort of. Uh, I mean, ideology. Uh, the militia now is replaced by national guard, mm-hmm. yeah. and uh, so and these state defense forces. I mean, yes. they, they do have those. They are they are real things. Yeah. But he's talking about. People just in the streets, random people <laughs> carrying guns. And oh, those are people. Um, those are the real Americans, actually. Real Americans. Yeah, those are. AKA thugs. Yeah, they're. <laughs> they are the costume wearing. Yeah, for them it's always Halloween. Yeah, I mean, the, the people that fail SWAP. <laughs> so. I yeah, mean, so that's an entrance exam for the military. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean, uh, these are the people that, you know... <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't quite uh, I mean, these are, make the cut, huh? Yeah, they... they <laughs> make the grade. <laughs> I mean, if you fail SWAB, I mean, you are pretty... I mean, you're not even qualified to hold a gun, I, I, as far as I'm concerned. So, just so we're clear, SWAB is the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude... Uh, I, I don't know exactly what it stands for, but yeah. I... I did take it. Yeah, we, yeah, we, I think we all took it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you're right. I, if you don't pass I, that. When I went in, uh, well, try to go in um, Air Force, I did take it and I did ace it. I mean, and uh, not to not to brag oh, about it. Not at all. 
<laughs> You're gonna hurt these guys' feelings. Okay? Yeah, I mean it's it was. Uh, I mean it was. For me, it was a piece of cake. So I don't know, but uh, uh, I mean the reason I didn't go in was because I was young and uh, they didn't give me a job I wanted. <laughs> So I basically said, uh, okay, well, I think I'm going to take my butt and go somewhere else. So you pouted, stomped your feet, and, yeah, and walked out. Yeah, and down. walked out. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, then, so that's that's number one. Yeah. Right? That's number one. So, Do we have one more clip? The other one is actually a clip from a song. It's uh, The song is, If This Country Still Had Balls. <laughs> let's play. Well, maybe it's me, but I'm scratching my head, wondering why that SOB ain't dead. Everyone knows it's him, why should we wait? It's time we go back to hanging them high Let's light the torches in the middle of the night Somewhere along the way we've gotten way too soft Yeah. Yep. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that conjures many, many images, not just, you know, some kind of mob justice. It, Conjures clan images, you know, lynchings, burning crosses, in people's yards. What this is interesting because when you're advocating for mob justice, what you're saying is that you know the Constitution doesn't apply, right? And this is the Law and Order Party. Well, Constitution does not apply when it comes to their issues. Clearly, I mean it's uh, they want to. They want to have their cake and eat it too, basically. You know, it, they talk about constitution, freedoms, and all that when it comes to their issues, mm. and at the same time, you know, they want to say that these these things don't apply to other people. Yeah, I mean, especially right. if you are uh, of a wrong color, <laughs> wrong uh, political affiliation, yeah. a wrong gender, the wrong gender. Um, it's selective, right? Yeah, it's very selective. So. Yeah, so so we have um, the Fifth and Fourteenth Amendments uh, deal with due process. That's out the window. The Sixth Amendment uh, guarantees the right to trial by jury. That's out the window. So <laughs> that's what he's advocating for. And I think that's interesting. Uh, that's that's when America had balls, right? When you didn't have a right to trial by jury. <laughs> well, you know, it, they would get rid of all those amendments and just have Second Amendment. Mm. I mean, that's the only <laughs> amendment they care about, basically. <laughs> Even uh, Amy Coney, Dog Barrett, um, she uh, um, new Supreme Court justice. Yeah, she couldn't remember the fifth freedom in the in the First Amendment. That's good. And That's good. Uh, she's the judge of the highest court. I mean, you cannot remember Fifth Amendment. I mean, Fifth Freedom. So I mean, and there's a reason. <laughs> there's a reason because they don't want people to have that <laughs> which was you know basically protest yeah not right now uh, certainly not right now unless you're in the tea party then you can protest all you want well that that's when you're you, you can have all the all the freedom because those are the the right people i mean the, these are the people that you know represent the real american real american values yeah yeah i've always said it yeah, uh, so this is this is uh, two examples of Buddy Brown. I think we'll do a regular segment on on, on Buddy Brown. Oh, yeah, uh, he, there's a lot of material. There. I mean, he provides us a pretty good material there. Maybe I we'll mean, have him on the show sometime, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about. Uh, Maybe we'll get his attention. <laughs> it's a matter of time. Yeah. So, yeah. So he's from uh, uh, Mississippi, right? He's from Mississippi. He still uh, lives there. He still lives there. He he hunts there. <laughs> lives in the woods. Um, he talks about uh, you know that down here in Mississippi we say yes sir and yes ma'am and yeah yeah and in California we have uh, you know basically thugs over there. Yeah, but it's ironic. His state depends on California. Well, let me, let, let's talk about his state, okay? So his state is 50th in healthcare, 48th in economy. So you're saying he's number one from the bottom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, it's all in how you, uh, you, you frame it's the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's how you look at I mean, he's number one from bottom. So. Uh, 45th in infrastructure, 44th in opportunity, 
44th in fiscal stability, 26th in crime and corrections. They are 11th in environment. Not bad. And they're 49th overall. Overall. And <laughs> Out uh, of 50. <laughs> they're number one in what? <laughs> I, well, uh, teen pregnancy? Probably still, I would imagine. So, you know, <laughs> get your house in order first, right? Before you uh, well, start talking the, about ghettos. And yeah, I mean, this is the the Bible state, right? Bible state, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. First uh, in uh, teen pregnancy, yeah. First in teen <laughs> pregnancy. <laughs> because, I mean, we all know that um, you know, abstinence-only education works. Yeah. We've on, which is what they... I don't know. Promote over there. This is, you know, this is where they talk about uh, family values and forget to mention their own. Mm. That's easy to point fingers, right? Yeah. Reminds me of Sarah Palin. I mean, just like uh, they were criticizing Obama for all his things. And uh, here we have this guy who's married to, you know, three times. Yeah. And have kids from three different women. The third one posed nude, yeah. Which we don't judge, but you know, I mean, we think they would. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they should. If, if this is the Bible, you know, Bible Belt, yeah. they should care about these things, but they don't. Well, with Obama, it was always the caricature, right? It wasn't yeah. the real Obama. It was the, what they expected him to be, yeah. what they wanted him to be, needed him to be, right? yeah. As as a stand-in, but they finally got what they called him. Yeah, they actually got that person in Trump, and all of a sudden they're blind. They don't see it. <laughs> don't see All of a sudden, they said, you know, we didn't elect him to be pope. Mm -hmm. uh, we elected him to be president. We That's don't right. want him to be Is nice and cordial. Yeah. <laughs> uh